is up guys I'm Xavier aka the film Zay and welcome back to the YouTube channel and I look in today's video we'll be going over the newest Wes Anderson film the French Dispatch and look I love this film so much so let's dive right into this review for today so the French Dispatch is basically a three-part uh, story which is basically um, three uh, separate like news stories it's all centered around this like one uh, news thing called the French Dispatch, like a news station, you can say. The uh, three parts are so individually uh, represented by different cinematography, different actors and actresses, different color schemes, different aspect ratios and whatnot. And look, this is Wes Anderson and it's like piss peak. It's a similar budget to the uh, Grand Budapest Hotel, like the same like cost them to make the film and whatnot. However, with the French Dispatch, it's like Wes Anderson just like made it like a bit better and like leveled up and whatnot. It's like here, it's getting better and better and better and I, I like love that so much um in case you guys don't know alongside uh Damien Chazelle and Denis Villeneuve Wes is part of my uh, three workers that I like I like really idolize and inspired by the work and whatnot those three Denis, Damien, Wes those three people are the reason why I do film pretty much they inspired me so much with their work and whatnot and you know being a big Wes Anderson fan I was happy seeing this film uh, coming to, um, to flourishing these this um ensemble um, in the French Dispatch, I love this so much. Uh, Timothy Chalamet, uh, Jeffrey Wright, uh, Tilda Swinton, Fred McDormand, uh, Saoirse Ronan, Christoph Waltz, Benicio del Toro gives like an all-time Wes Anderson acting performance. Right, uh, he just absolutely kills it. He's in the first part of the film, and he everything he does in this and del Toro does in this film is absolutely incredible, and I love the way. Wes is able to have this like dark, mysterious character fit within his style. Uh, we, we don't see that much when it comes to a lot of Wes Anderson films and whatnot, those dark, dark characters. But with Benicio Del Toro, we got and it was perfect in my opinion for the first part. Now, like I said, it's in three parts of um, the film. Um, as far as like the order of like was like the best part, you can say, I definitely got to say the first part with Benicio Del Toro is the like the, the best of the parts. The uh, second story in this is uh, with Timothy Chalamet's character. Um, He's like a, 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 a youth revolt leader. Um, basically, it's like two like, rivals, you can say. And it's a big like, revolt of like, teenagers or whatnot, which is actually cool to see in an innocent film. You know, he's very youthful when he's directing, so seeing a teen let revolt is also pretty cool to see. And then my last one, it was really good. Actually, I would say like the, like, the last two are kind of tied, and, like which one's better and whatnot. But Jeffrey Wright, uh, the uh, Roebuck Wright chapter, um, that's what it's called in the film. It was absolutely fantastic scene, just like the, um, just the way some target wise you can say, but it's just so well crafted. Um, you guys will see if you watch the film, but basically cinematography goes like up to the next level on that, in that, that particular part of the story, which I loved. Um, outside of Del Toro for his part in part one, part three, but Jeffrey Wright's character kills as well. Um, the story of part three is basically told through him, like his, um, his POV and whatnot, different events and whatnot. It was really cool to see how that, you know, kind of tied into, like, this whole entire French Dispatch film. Now, for Oscar talk. Now, Robert Yeoman. Cinematography. Nomination. Definitely. Definitely. Arguably, in my opinion at least, this is Yeoman's best cinematography in any Wes Anderson film. Um, the way he was able to switch different uh, color schemes, different ratios and whatnot... Of the frame and whatnot, and uh, Yo Yeoman kills it with his, um, you know, cinematography, like, like he always does in any West film. Alongside cinematography, um, this is also a good shot for uh, production design, maybe even costume design as well, maybe even makeup. I don't know about that one, but Tilda Swinton has a lot of makeup on. Um, and, you know, Tilda Swinton kills it in everything she does. Um, I don't see really getting any acting nominations at all. Not direction. It has a very, very small chance of getting into Best Picture. Uh, we got to see what happens with that. With Best Picture is kind of weird. The, the last like two or three spots can be up in the air right now with a lot of different films and whatnot. But we'll see what happens when the Oscars roll around and it gets maybe some more hype possibly. Oh, and also might get score for um, this plot. Um, Alexander this plot uh, for score. Uh, you know, he's, he's basically done every Wes Anderson uh, score pretty much. His um, career, so I could definitely see that getting it for score as well. So about four to five nominations that the film can get for this year's Oscars awards. So that's it for me for today. I'm gonna give the French Dispatch a solid eight out of ten. Like I said, this is one of Wes Anderson's better films. Definitely, he's like taking like the um, 
his film to like the next level when it comes to like the grand size of these things. Um, and like I said, I'm a big fan of Wes Anderson. Her part of um, that top three of the Holy Trinity uh, of the directors that I am um, inspired by my work and whatnot. So that's it for me for today. Uh, stay tuned for the Oscar predictions review coming this week. And also, you're going to see my House of Gucci review coming also this week. I'm seeing it tomorrow night. I'm really excited for that. And yeah, that's it for me for today. I will see you all next time. Like always, have a great one. Mm -hmm.